Before start this video, please subscribe my channel and click on bell icon. Thanks. Bones are incredible. Across history, they've been used in many ways. They hold secrets from the past and help us shape the future. Archaeologists dig up bones and discover ancient stories. These bones tell us about old civilizations, their customs, and how they lived and died. Cool, right? But bones aren't only for history. Scientists use them to make important tools and help us stay healthy. These tools, in turn, support our bodies and help doctors heal us. Plus, by studying animal bones and other old stuff, we learn about what people and animals ate long ago and how they lived together. And there have been plenty more uses for bones throughout time. Some you might have never even thought of. In this list, we'll take a long look at 10 very, very, very unexpected historical uses of human and animal bones. It can be a worthwhile and very non-traditional tool to help mankind too. Related, 10 forbidden and creepy claims of giant human skeletons, 10 Tupperware in the early 2000s, construction workers in Israel stumbled upon a significant discovery, a massive stone cave known as Kizim Cave. Since then, archaeologists have been uncovering secrets within its depths that challenge our understanding of human origins and evolution. The carcasses of fallow deer, which was their primary prey, were brought back to the cave, where the meat and fat were stripped away. That left the bones suitable for marrow storage, and the rest is, literal, history. The discoveries from Kizim Cave continue to unravel fascinating aspects of our distant past. Isn't it wild to think the earliest version of Tupperware is thousands of years old? In reality, these dragon bones were fossils from million-year-old dinosaurs. But villagers in rural areas had no idea these bones would have archaeological value. Instead, they believed these remarkable remnants had special healing properties. So they would grind the bones down and consume them for various ailments. And since they had no idea the fossils were of literal dinosaurs, calling them dragon bones was pretty much the next best thing. Today, despite this setback, the local population's familiarity with the location of fossil troves has proved invaluable for excavation and scientific study. Even though many dinosaur bones were lost over time, many more were uncovered thanks to these people's historical knowledge of the area and its bone-related rituals. Nowadays, buttons are made from various materials, including plastics, metals, and natural resources. These changes reflect advancements in manufacturing techniques and the availability of diverse materials. The applications of such knives are limited to puncturing. But there is a long history of bones being used as weapons. In fact, even more than any other use on this list, this is the way bones were most commonly employed by human hands for ages. Long ago, the Clovis people in prehistoric North America crafted pointed projectiles from bone or wood. Remarkably, embedded bone projectiles have been discovered in the rib of a male mastodon skeleton. So experts believe the mastodon perished soon after the encounter. The Clovis people weren't the only ones to use bone like that, though. The Apaches fashioned clubs from the jawbones of horses, elk, buffaloes, or bears. They often left the teeth intact and even polished them for visual appeal. There have been other historical weapon uses too. The biblical tale of Samson follows the mighty figure akin to Hercules in the Abrahamic religions. 
In his tale, he reputedly slew a thousand men using the jawbone of a donkey as his weapon of choice. So there is quite a bit of precedent in the power of bones in that regard. 4. Six housing the mammoth bone huts of Masyrik, in focus back in the Upper Paleolithic period in Europe, our early ancestors, including Neanderthals, were pretty clever at making use of what was around them. They took the bones and tusks from woolly mammoths and fashioned them into primitive homes, shelters, and windbreaks. These bones were tied together or stuck in the ground for support. Amazingly, that simple method resulted in sturdy, long-lasting shelters. In South America, ancient humans also showed their resourcefulness. They repurposed the shells of glyptodons, which were like giant armadillos, for protection and shelter. All in all, the fact that Neanderthals and early humans used mammoth bones and glyptodon shells for shelter tells us a lot about their resourcefulness and adaptability. It gives us insight into their capabilities and technological achievements. And it gave them a safe, reasonably secure shelter compared to what else was available at the time. Honestly, that explicit benefit was far more important for their survival and our current existence than any archaeological insight we may gain now. They showcase the decadence of marrow and stew it up in a concoction of spice and flavor. The marrow's gelatinous texture imbues the dish with a velvety richness that then enhances the flavors and leaves diners longing for more. Across the sprawling deserts of Iran, bone marrow finds its way into the heart of traditional dishes. In turn, it transforms it into a heavenly delight that melts in the mouth and captivates the senses. Hungary is renowned for bold flavors, and it, too, embraces bone marrow in traditional cuisine. In America, for instance, the Cherokee Indians used big animal bones and sticks to create shovels for digging. They tied everything together with leather or deer ligaments. Long before that, other groups also made shovels with animal bones. They used shoulder blades from animals like pigs or deer. They even added antler handles for better digging. These shovels were strong and easy to hold while cultivating for primitive farms. In China, they made shovels from pig or oxen bones. They changed the bones out regularly to ensure the tools remained good for digging. Consider it like sharpening a knife or axe now, just some simple, very ancient, tool maintenance. 7. Three fertilizer in the mid-1800s bone meal emerged as a popular fertilizer. Back then, folks in rural places out on the American frontier gathered buffalo bones for fertilizer. They found that grinding them down and using them within their otherwise difficult soil made it easier to grow things. Thus, bones from dead animals helped sustain critical life on the prairies while Americans were desperate to push west and settle. However, the rise of the cattle industry led to a shift from buffalo bones to cow bones before 1900. Today, the bone that gets used in current fertilizers mostly comes from ground-up cow skeletons. In some places, the bones of long-dead pigs and sheep also get the job done. It is available in two forms, coarse grind and fine grind. The finer grind releases nutrients into the soil more quickly. They would clean the bones, make them smooth, and create flat surfaces. Then, they would drill or chisel rows of pits into the bone. Heat was applied until the bone cracked, and the cracks were red to find the answer. 
experts from that age would then interpret the answer and counsel families and villages. Sadly, the exact method of interpreting the cracks remains unknown. If we knew it today, perhaps we could unlock some secrets about the modern world. The term oracle bones is commonly used to refer to those bones and shells from ancient China. However, the use of shoulder blades to predict the future can be found in other places too. Scapulomancy, as it is called, has been practiced in Japan, Korea, Europe, Africa, and North America. And it crossed over many cultures in many eras, too. Farmers in places like Greece and Serbia down through the years have been found to use scapulomancy. That skill has been employed to figure out lots of things. Uses include determining weather patterns, fortune telling, predicting astrological issues, and more. It's true. People have been using bird bones, which are naturally hollow, to create flutes for a long time. Archaeologists have uncovered bone flute finds in two millennia-old caves in Germany known to us today as Geisenklosterl and Hohlfels. That one is thought to date back, only 4, 000 years. Another fascinating discovery was also made recently in the French city of Ischeritz. There, ancient flutes made from swan wing bones were found. Thanks for watching. Credits to listverse.com. Please subscribe my channel for more videos.